Welcome to the third part of this video series, on shortwave radio for beginners. In this video I talk about choosing the right equipment. Let's start. To listen to shortwave radio, you need, a radio receiver, an antenna, the right conditions, and optional, some accessories. The first decision you have to make, whether you buy a portable, or a desktop receiver. This is an easy decision, for beginners, a desktop receiver is too expensive and complicated, a portable receiver is a good fit for you. You can upgrade your equipment later anytime. The next one is a bit tricky, analog or digital. Generally speaking, as long as you only want to listen to broadcast stations, like music and news, an analog receiver will work perfectly for you. Of course, without a digital display, you will never know, on which frequency you exactly are. If you also want to listen to radio amateurs, utility stations or number stations, you need a digital receiver with single sideband mode. Consider this comparison here, and make your decision for yourself depending on your needs. An analog radio is also more real feeling to use, a digital one is far more accurate and offers extra features, like memory, MP3 recording, or USB connection. Important, do not invest too much money for the first time, a good receiver with the basic functions will work perfectly for you, consider buying second hand. I have to mention SDR, and, Web SDR, however, they are not really relevant for you, as a beginner. But, this video series would not be complete, without mentioning them. SDR means Software Defined Radio. It is usually a USB stick with an antenna connected to your laptop, where you are listening to the radio. A Web SDR, like a webcam, is an SDR connected to the internet, allowing many listeners to listen and tune it simultaneously. Visit WebSDR.org for more infos. By the way, a Web SDR, is probably the easiest, and cheapest way to listen to shortwave radio. This is by the way, how a Web SDR, looks like. Now talk about the antenna. This is also very easy. A single metal wire, about 5 to 15 meters, or, 15 to 45 feet, is a perfect antenna connected to your telescopic antenna with a crocodile clip. A thinner wire, is easy to manage, and receives the same signals. Always place your wire antenna outside the building, and away from any source of electricity, like a Wi-Fi router, light bulbs or any electrical devices. Always use your receiver from a battery, as the AC-DC adapter may create a noise, and disturb your reception. Do not buy any additional antenna, it is not necessary for you. And now, the most important question, which radio should you purchase? I may have to disappoint you, but in my opinion, there is no perfect radio. My suggestion for you, Search the internet for the best shortwave radio, you will find, the same 3-4 brands, almost everywhere. They are all good enough, the quality of reception is fine for a beginner. Stay under 200 euros or dollars. Consider ergonomics, like, the size and position of the tuning knobs. Consider the type of battery, radios with lithium ion cells, and AA batteries are available on the market. Consider this, a AA battery, you can buy anywhere if needed. Avoid receivers, with muting, when stepping through frequencies. Watch some YouTube reviews, to see the radios in real action, and make your decision. Let's see some optional accessories, you should consider. Print out the bands, and your favorite frequencies. Have a notebook by your side, and make notes. If you are listening in a darkened room at night, use a small torch, or headlight to see the keyboard on your receiver. You may use earplugs, or headphones. Now, you can start making your own decision, and buy the right radio receiver. Next time, I will talk about how the shortwave bands work. New content, is available every Tuesday on this channel. 
See you next time. Comment below and thanks for watching.